good day everyone welcome to the intercession devotionals for today we'll be taking prayers for all churches across the globe and prayers for our beloved nation nigeria first we're going to start with prayers for all churches across the world prayer number one father send your angelic host to watch over all true places of worship today in jesus name we're going to take our scripture reading from numbers chapter 22 verse 23 and the ass saw the angel of the lord standing in the way and he swore drawn in his hand and the ass turned aside out of the way and went into the field and Balaam smote the ass to turn her into the way with this understanding we're going to be praying father send your angelic host to watch over all true places of worship today in the name of jesus show me like this prayer father send your angelic host to watch over all true places of worship today in the name of jesus christ we decree no evil report concerning any true place of worship no any evil report no attacks of any sort in the name of jesus father send your angelic host to watch over all true places of worship today in the name of jesus christ no any host of the devil will come and cause havoc upon where the saints are in the name of jesus father send your angelic host to watch over all true places of worship today in the name of jesus thank you for answering us in jesus name we pray next prayer we pray father gather multitude at your feet today and send your word with power grace and anointing in the name of jesus actually apostle chapter 13 verse 44 and the next sabbath day came almost the whole city to hear the word of the lord so, uh, acts chapter 4 verse 33 and with great power give the apostles witness of the resurrection of the lord jesus and great grace was upon them all Join me like this prayer, Father Lord, gather multitude at your feet today and send your word with power, grace, anointing in the name of Jesus. Is our petition here also, God, gather your word, Jehovah, gather the multitude at your feet today. Gather the multitude at your feet today and send your word with power, grace, and anointing in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our third prayer, Father. Let there be a Pentecostal revival in all true churches across the world and let men be truly touched, healed, and saved in the name of Jesus. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, 1 to 4, talking about on the day of Pentecost, that there fell fire from on high, sat upon them, and they began to speak in another tongue said in verse 3 and they appeared unto them clothing tongues like a fire and they sat upon each other and they are all filled with the holy ghost and began to speak with other tongues show me like this prayer father let there be a pentecostal revival in all true churches across the globe and let men be truly touched heal and save in the name of jesus acts chapter 2 37 to 38 the outbreak of the miracles and now when they had this they were pricking their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you. And we saw about 3,000 souls being added to the kingdom of Christ on that day. Father, let there be a Pentecostal revival in all true churches across the globe and let men be truly touched, healed, and saved in the name of Jesus. Here also, God, Father, let there be a Pentecostal revival in all true churches across the world and let men be truly touched healed and saved in the name of jesus father let there be a pentecostal revival in all true churches across the world and let men be truly touched healed and saved in the name of jesus thank you for hearing us for in jesus name we pray amen our fourth prayer our last prayer for the church we want to be praying, Jesus, sanctify your true altars across the world today and cause only true and right doctrines to proceed in the name of Jesus. Proverb in chapter 4, verse 2, the word of the Lord speaking. He said, where, verse uh, 2, he said, For I give you good doctrines, for I give you good doctrine, forsake you not my love, for I give you good doctrines, for 
forsake ye not my law. First Timothy 4 6. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Jesus Christ, nourish up in the world of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. Join me like this prayer. Jesus, sanctify your true authors across the world today and cause only true and right doctrines to proceed in the name of Jesus. Jehovah hear us. They help us this hour. Hear us, O oh God. Sanctify your true altars across the world today and cause only true and right doctrines to proceed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we come against every altar preaching heresy. We come against every altar preaching falsehood just to extort money from people who come against them by the blood of a lamb. We decree, sanctify your true altars across the world today and cause only true and right doctrines to proceed in the name of Jesus. Jehovah, sanctify your true altars across the world today and cause only true and right doctrines to proceed in the name of Jesus. Hear us, O God. Sanctify, sanctify your true altars across the world today and cause only true and right doctrines to proceed in Jesus' name. Thank you for hearing us. For in Jesus' mighty, much less name we are praying. Amen. A second set of prayer we shall be praying for our beloved nation nigeria <clears throat> excuse me we shall be praying for our beloved nation nigeria first we shall be praying father by your mercies restore and help nigeria recover all she have lost economically in the name of jesus the book of joel chapter 2 from verse 25 to 27 said for i will restore i will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten the kankawa the caterpillar and the palmo, my great army, which I sent among you. Verse 26 says, And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord that have dealt wondrous with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. For this understanding, let's say, Father, by your mercies, restore and help Nigeria recover all she has lost economically in the name of Jesus. Father, by your mercies, restore and help Nigeria recover all she has lost economically in the name of Jesus. Second prayer, Father, take over all the economic and political battles of Nigeria for a sure victory in Jesus' name. Second Chronicles chapter 20 from verse 15 to 24. I can't read because of time. In summary, verse 7 says, You shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself, stand still, and you will see the salvation of the Lord. And indeed, they saw the salvation of the Lord. When they came towards the world, to verse 24, they looked upon the mountain, and behold, there were dead bodies falling to the earth. The Lord fought their battles and the enemies destroyed themselves. Let's take this prayer on the behalf of our great nation, Nigeria. Father, take over all the economic and political battles of Nigeria for a sure victory in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, take over all the economic and political battles of Nigeria for a sure victory in the name of Jesus. Here also, go, take over, take over, Abba Father, take over all the economic and political battles of Nigeria for a sure victory in Jesus' name. Thank you for hearing us. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Third prayer, Father, we ask for divine wisdom upon all Nigerians for to always do what is right, even when no man is watching, thereby making this nation a beautiful, habitable place to live in, in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> Genesis chapter 26, verse 4 and 5. We will know, he said, and I will make thy seed to multiply as the stars of heaven, and will give unto thy seed all these countries, and in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Verse 5 said, Because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandment, my status, and my law. Imagine one man will be the law. Father, we ask for divine wisdom upon all Nigerians to always do what is right, even when no man is watching, thereby making this nation. A beautiful, a conducive, habitable place to live in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for the wisdom upon all Nigerians to always do what is right, even when no man is watching, thereby making the nation a beautiful place to live in the name of Jesus. Here also, God, Liu Salata. Here also, God, Father, we ask for the wisdom upon all Nigerians to always do what is right. Even when no man is watching in the name of Jesus, therefore making the nation a beautiful place to live in. Father, we ask for divine wisdom upon all Nigerians to always do what is right, even when no man is watching, thereby making this nation of Nigeria a beautiful and a conducive place to live in in the name of Jesus. 
a last prayer, praying for this nation for today. Use Father, use the government of the day and all her ministers for your glory, thereby improving the living standards of Nigerians in the name of Jesus. Romans uh, chapter 9, verse 17. We all know the story. It said, Even Pharaoh was an instrument in the house of the Lord. Said for the scripture said unto Pharaoh, Even for the same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all earth. Father, use the government of the day, whoever they are, use the government of the day and her ministers for your glory, thereby improving the economic standard of Nigeria in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, use the government of the day and all her ministers for your glory, thereby improving the living standard of Nigerians in Jesus' name. Father, hear us this hour, use the government of the day. Father, use the government of the day and all her ministers for your glory, thereby improving the living standards of Nigerians in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you've heard us. Thank you for answering all our petition. Receive all praise and adoration in Jesus' name. Join me, pray this prayer, share this gospel, and be blessed from intercession ministry. I bless you. We'll continue uh, on this channel. So stay connected with us. God bless you. Thank you for your time in Jesus' name.